Olá, and bom dia, everyone. Bem-vindos ao Sunny Saudade Project. Just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to be continuing to try and pull this root out because it is massive. Like, let me show you. Yeah, it's quite big. I've managed to dig through. There's even some water in the, in the, there's so some water in the corner there. So yeah, I've dug quite a little bit. I'm going to crack on with this job. Hopefully I can get this finished and then yeah, we're going to keep building the wall. Charlotte is being an editing gremlin today. Okay, another little side project I have to do is I actually cut down a mimosa tree and I'm going to be planting it in the garden, okay? And this is in order for the grapevine to grow upwards. So let me show you. I cut this down to size. There's a little attachment bit here that we can put the vines through. And Charlotte wants it there, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it. But it's quite easy. Essentially, you cut the end of the tree. So you cut this end, or the one below it, and you make it like a pencil shape on the, on the bottom. And then you dig some of the earth, and you, uh, and you get a sledgehammer, and you hammer it down, and it should stay fixed. If not, we can find out some way of getting um, it attached to the back here. So I can have to attach a bit of string or something or find some way of doing it. But hey, that will be another project for another time, but something that I have to uh, crack on with. So let's get on to the root digging. So the root is quite wobbly, it's almost about to come off, but I, th I fear that what I might have to do is to cut the root in the bottom of it somehow, and hopefully that will stop it from growing, because um, at the moment, oh, my hands are covered in, in dirt. So this is the stone wall on the outside of the house, this is the stone wall on the outside of the house, oh, sorry, cement stone, and if you go here, there's a little bit of a layer. Yeah, so I don't want to go too much below here. And there's a massive rock here. I think this rock is connected to the house. And it's really hard to dig through this gap. It's really tiny. So if I cut the tree from here, hopefully... Yeah, if I cut the tree from there, hopefully I can get this to stop. So yeah. Wish me luck and keep on cracking on. Dogs are, dogs are chilling, Ella's taking a nap, Biscuits is digging. Classic stuff. Okay, I dug out as much earth as I could from that root. Yeah, so it's as I fear there's some roots that are going beneath that rock. Let me show you quickly here. And then I will get Samara the death, the death scythe and cut it. Such a weird word, scythe, right? But yeah, so um, this is this big boy stone. And yeah, you got roots, oh, uh, great camera angle. Yeah, so you got roots and stuff that are going underneath. And this is part of the stone as well, but there's a bit of a gap here. And there's roots going absolutely mental. So I'm gonna chop it with Samara and then crack on with the wall. Ah, 
Okay, that's the best I can do for now. If I had a chainsaw, then I would be able to cut the rest of the root, but it's just impossible with that giant stone. So yeah, let's crack onto the wall. But after lunch, of course. Bon dia, everyone. Feeling a little bit better, so I'm gonna try and get out and enjoy the sunshine whilst I can. Um, it's a really, really beautiful day and we need to collect some pine cones um, for what's hopefully our last fire of the year until next winter. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take the dogs with me, get some exercise in and uh, ooh, <laughs> make sure the dogs have a good walk as well. I miss getting your... Oh no, she's not joining us today. She's got the ump with me for walking too far yesterday. But um, yeah, I'll get some shots for you. Okay, really scared. Keeping an eye out. Um, I'm hoping they're okay. Um, just came across the processionary caterpillars, a massive load of them. Um, luckily the dogs didn't spot them. I just ran away. But we will not be taking a walk in the woods today. Um, yeah, they're horrible guys. Okay, come on, we can't go that way. Oh, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on them in case anything has happened, but I think they're okay. Um, I will be staying away from this area for a while. Um, I know that they're coming towards the end of their season, so I guess that's why they're coming down now. Horrible. Oh, they're disgusting. I would film it, but I don't want to go near them, so they're like, it was a snake at first. Blech. That was gross. Um, right. I don't know how we're going to start this fire tonight, lads. Let's hope there's some decent pine cones back closer to home. Oof. Good girl. I've come back and Carlos on the phone with the internet people still. Um, it's still no show for our fibre optic. That was supposed to be installed two months ago. Um, but hopefully, bad, you know, third time's a charm, right? Um, dogs are back now they will not be let off the lead for quite some time that scared the life out of me but they seem to be fine it's about five ten minute walk back so hopefully they're all good i'll research just in case but they've got no signs of anything hurting them yet so Whew, that scared the life out of me all right post lunch tidy here and i got all these rocks to pick up bring them over there to start finishing up the wall so yeah wish me luck it's an editing gremlin it's me you right yeah i'm gonna build the wall have fun thanks yeah. um we need lots of wood for tonight and tomorrow morning because tomorrow's be supposed to be like the last cold day and mm. then we're gonna it's gonna like raise up like 10 degrees but it's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow. Ooh, wow. So, if you can finish collecting the pine that I couldn't earlier, I will love you forever. Absolutely lootly. Um, yeah, after I, I'll try my best to finish the wall today. Catch some wood, pine cones, bits and bobs. Not for tonight, but for, for tomorrow night, yeah? Well, a bit tonight, a bit tomorrow. But be careful of those caterpillars, they're scary now. Okay, I'll try and I'll try and get them on camera, but I'll stay away from them. Dogs will not go near them. Don't worry, guys. Don't go near them. Just don't no? do it. No, they're gross. Okay. Okay, then. Let's get the stone level. Stone level. Stone wall. Well... I guess leveled if I could. Finished. Boom.
close to finishing this wall. Look how good it looks from, from back here. So let me spin the camera. Oh, mate. That looks so good. Yeah. And you'll notice in that, in this end here, the wall goes slightly higher because I'm trying to keep it as level as possible. And now that it is level, only thing I have to do is push um, all that all that earth over to this side, and that earth will help support the stones in the in the in the corner there. So yeah, exciting. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call the editing gremlin and see what she thinks. Yeah. I think it's very nice, very nice. We have Charlotte the editing gremlin today. Have to get some sunshine warmth, yeah. but it's not that warm. It's not that warm, is it? It's a good temperature though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so look, how do you think? It's really good, and you kept it really flat on the top. Yeah, you? so you notice how that bit's slightly higher? Yeah. So I'm going to move all that, all that earth over to this side. That's going to be the next thing. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Biscuits looks really happy. Look at his, look at his little face. <laughs> Do you like it, Biscuits? Oh, yeah. I think the wall is amazing. And I'm just picking up the sniffles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ella's all cold. Ella. Do you want to go in and catch a bit of sunlight? Do you guys want to come in? Charlotte's taking the dogs out for a walk. I'm really happy with the result on the stone wall. Uh, just bear in mind, we haven't used any cement or anything whatsoever. So we're hoping that the ground will kind of hold it sturdy. Only one way to find out if it rains a lot and it's still in place means it's stable. It has rained a few times and the first half of the wall has been done. So yeah, let's get to digging. Lots, I've got lots done today on, uh, and I'm gonna keep on going. Okay, I've worked on half of the land. I'll do a little bit more tomorrow or Monday when I'm off from work. And then with the help of Mr. Pitchfork, that I managed to break the middle metal bendy bit of the pitchfork. So I'm gonna have to move all this, all this over to here, but I have to work on this bit first. So yeah, you know, it's fine. Um, should say, it shouldn't take too long really. Just gotta work the land a little bit. I might even put some more rocks in the corner here. So I might put some more rocks here to keep it a little heavy, but yeah. It's looking grand, looking fabulous. I'm gonna take a breather and I might film a little bit of me picking up words and bits that I can use for the fire for today and tomorrow. So there we go. Hello, beautiful people. I'm joined by Ellen Biscuits and I'm gonna be chopping wood in my wood shopping slash provisional workshop station. So let me show you. I've got four branches there, three here, and yeah, I've already started shopping some. So this is for today and tomorrow. If I need more, I can go and pick up some more. I went to where the old barn is on the top. You don't know if you can see the wood, but there's just piles and piles of what the previous owners left. So yeah, hey, thank you very much. It's not the really, it's not the hardest wood that you really want. However, it burns a little bit quicker, but if you, if you just use lots of it and keep the fire going, then it's fine.
think you guys get the main picture. Wouldn't you agree, Biscuits? Wouldn't you agree, buddy? Hello, buddy. Hello, Ella. What are you guys avoiding? Hey. Hello, sausage. Oh, hello. I woke up like this and my hair is amazing. <laughs> hello, everyone. Your hair at the moment. <laughs> hello, everyone. We are on the way to Fandeo in it and it is misty today we're in misty mountain so i'm gonna film a little bit of the way in well it's um, not really misty down here we're sort of below the mist now yeah oh, well blossom it's starting it's starting charlotte's getting all excited <laughs> but yeah we are i guess we missed the, the opportunity i guess oh. We are in Fandeo guys and yeah we're gonna go to the market get some vegetables. Yeah it I am all stressy because it always gets really difficult to park. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm surprised how busy it is considering it's raining but yeah, yeah it's really full it's the fullest I've seen it. Mm. It's the earliest we've been outside. Yeah. yeah we normally get here when the market is closing but we've made it uh, actually, on time. actually on time so it's amazing right. Let's see if we can cross the road without being run over. I'm looking after you, don't you worry, babes. Ah, thanks, babes, innit? Thanks, babes. Good people of the world. We got a little bit excited and we may have bought the entire market of Fundao. It just works out it's a lot cheaper than buying it in the continent. And yeah. We've got like a whole sack of vegetable, like we filled my bag plus extra for like seven euros or something. Yeah, 750. It's so funny that the guy actually forgot how much money he was going to charge us. So he's like, ah, 750 is fine. He gave us a couple of extra tomatoes. We went into this other food stand and we bought ourselves a pan con chorizo. Charlotte got a chocolate croissant. And then, um, yeah, he said, oh, it's 170, but I only had 150 in coins. I'll be fine. And then I got changed. I came back to give him the toys. Oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. So people yeah. are really friendly and everyone likes to, people think that we have money to buy stuff for some reason. So there was this lady, oh, why are you come in and buy a pan con chorizo next week, next week. I'll, oh, I'll we buy some. we got these huge sacks of spice, didn't we? Which mm. I'm really excited for. Yeah. yeah. Again, good old haggle. She said, oh, it's going to be, oh, oh. Um, I'll do this one for free. I'll do the other one for free. Fifty. Oh, oh can't, can't you bring it down to six? Like, mm, all right then. You know. So. <laughs> I love me a good old haggle in the market. Yeah. Part of the the rural life. Part of the rural life, isn't it? Um, what are we going to do now? We need to go to the butchers. What do you want meat wise? Uh, We've got steak, or chicken. Yes, all the things. Um, yeah, I'm. I don't know. I'll get a couple. Charlotte likes her steak. She needs some iron in her bloodstream. I'll get some chicken breasts. I haven't had chicken in ages. I bought a, this thing of chorizo. It would have been six euros in the continent. I got it for two eighty. So good. So they good. They make it in house. Yeah. Definitely check out this market on a Monday if you ever are in Fundao. Fandeo Market, innit? Yeah, we get there early. We come to realise it's so much better if we get here early. I know. Um, yeah. The parking's a nightmare, but it's worth it. We always seem to land in this spot where there's like where a car's about to leave when we get there so we've been pretty lucky yeah all right we're gonna get some meat in the shop oh. charlotte's a slow park. for an absolute classic bacalao brush. Um, it's like potato and cod um, with some egg and olives and they like stir fry it almost. Really, really good and an absolute classic. Highly recommend. And Carlos. So I've gone for impedon. What it is essentially, you have mashed potatoes and meat, mix it all in, pop it in, and pop it in the, the oven and it comes out and it comes out like this. Really good one. Um, is the the meat and the potato flavor is well balanced. I've had some of these before where it's not the, the flavor is not balanced at all, but this one's really nice. So excited! It's like Portuguese mm. version. Of, uh, 
it's like it reminds me of Portuguese version of um, shepherd's pie. That's what it looks like to me. It looks really good. I'm a bit jealous actually. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a thief here in a minute. <laughs> gonna crack? Let's see if it cracks. Oh, it did. And I got a fruit salad. He's being healthy. Yeah. For a change. I know, I've never realized that they call it a fruit salad because a salad is like raw vegetables in a bowl with a mixture of assortments and this is the same thing except it's with fruit. I don't know why I've never oh, understood it. Yeah, I don't want to tell you. I'm almost 29 years old <laughs> and I've never <laughs> understood this. I know, yeah. Lovely meal out, you know. And Charlotte, how much was this whopping soup main meal? Uh, olives, bread, dessert, coffee. The whole lot, two of us, was 18 euros. Bargain, mate. Bloody bargain, innit? Right, now we're gonna hassle the the male people because they are just keep messing up our um, internet. We want to do a stream so badly that it hurts. We want to do a live stream, do a Q&A, but we can't, unfortunately, because things in Portugal are like Portugal moves slower than a snail. It is, it's no joke. Like it's probably the slowest country in the world at getting these things done. So, oh well. dog in the world and the craziest <laughs> dog in the world yeah so um that was our little hole shopping it's very cloudy and rainy we can't do much i'll go film a little bit of what it looks like in a minute it's really beautiful mm. it's just that you can't really go out for long because you end up drenched um. unfortunately because we're in the we are in the cloud so just Walking through it, you get drenched, which is kind of funny. And yes, it's up to no good again. He's trying uh, to steal rocks. <laughs> this is what he does, apparently. Biscuits! Hmm, I wonder where biscuits could be. Biscuits! What are you doing? Biscuits! He's so bored, bless him. Yeah, um, that's all the wood that's left. So let me quickly show you. I This box was full of wood there. Pine cones under there so he doesn't eat them. Lots of medium small, medium small branches and then big boys. So yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. Leave your comments down below how things are going and yeah. Any tips for what to do? Thanks for watching guys and ciao Zine. Ciao Zine. Bye. Bye. Bye.